The first thing prayer does is that he opens you to the voice of God. The second thing is that he brings the presence over you. If you intend to manifest the influence of the kingdom, please understand divine presence. Otherwise, where some of these men have gone to, and when they speak, their words never fall to the ground. But in the name of Jesus, that presence will rest upon you. In the name of Jesus, I allow my mindset to be changed. In the name of Jesus, I allow the power of God and the mind of Christ to superimpose my mindset. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I'm on my way unstoppably to the wealthy place. Say one more time, I'm on my way to the wealthy place in the name of jesus i make a decision that i will never stay poor i make up my mind let this be the first step tonight into the wealthy place rise up on your feet i will sing of the wonders of your word I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to thank God for the teaching tonight. There is a place called the wealthy place. There is a realm of wealth and abundance. There is a mindset that has kept Africa in poverty. There is a mindset that has kept Nigeria in poverty. There is a mindset that has kept the church in poverty. There is a mindset that has kept your family pray and thank you for this teaching it is the entrance of God's word that gives light and understanding unto the simple hallelujah hallelujah now we're going to take three prayer points very quickly prayer point number one I like you to say Lord baptize me with an anointing that will make me serious about my finances lift your voice and pray kill every unseriousness you've never paid attention to it you are heading the path of destruction I tell you if you have just spiritualized it and left it there you are headed for the path of disappointment pray baptize me O God with a supernatural grace to take my finances seriously knowing that my assignment will suffer without it my comfort in life will suffer without it the advancement of your kingdom will suffer without it ladies are you praying don't say my husband will bail me out pray hallelujah hallelujah now pray and say lord i have decided and there is no going back i have decided may i not just be emotional now and then throw it back i've decided i've decided lift your voice and pray announce it let the devil hear you 
I have decided to embrace the path of the blessed. I have decided consciously, willingly, I will never remain poor. No, it must change. No, it must change. Where my father did not cross, where my mother did not cross, oh, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I may not look like it now, but I'm on my way. I submit to the disciplines. I submit to the trainings. I submit to the disciplines. It may cost me my comfort zone. It may cost me my ego. But I'm ready for change. Pray. Pray. God will honor your prayer. It's a decision that will bless you. It's a decision that will determine the way the next phase of your life will be. You may not do anything about yesterday. Yesterday is gone. Yesterday is gone. Stop regretting the past. Stop regretting the failure. Stop regretting the disappointment. Stop regretting the lack. Make a decision now. Make a decision now. You may not know what to do. You may not know how to go about it. Just make the decision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Between this man, this man, and this man, you know where you truly are. Don't lie to yourself. Many of us are here. I like you to pray and say, Lord, the mental transition that must happen for me to leave this realm, to this realm, to this realm, I am ready and I submit to it. Go ahead and pray. Pray, pray, pray. I submit, oh God, not to money, not to business, but to the mental transition. Now I know that it's not just about cash. It's not just about business. It's not just about investments. It's not just about a job. It's not just about access to wealth. A mental transition. Pray. No power will stop me. I'm determined to shift. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, I will see. Lord, I can is what is happening to you by the blood of Jesus. I see miracles. I see in the glory and the power. Signs and wonders. wonders. One more time, Lord, I receive. Lord, 
Hear me? There is no favoritism with God. Every single one of us who is interested can and should enter the wealthy place. God is giving everyone an open check. If you do not enter, many of our parents, if they had the opportunity to be mentored and taught, if they had the opportunity to receive that mental transition, they would have been billionaires right now. You have an opportunity many long for and never receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pick up your notebook. I want to give you an assignment. I want you to write exactly without any ambiguity. You must not do it now. Write exactly what financial freedom means to you. At what point in your life be as clear about it what does it mean for you at least let's use this level not forever let's just use the level that brings you into breakthrough how much resource coming into you and how frequent will it amount to financial freedom to you right now what kind of abundant supply will need to come into your life don't be myopic and at the same time don't be childish don't get up and write 10 billion naira per week that's nonsense you don't need that level of wealth now you never think if you do not make it a goal you never hear me learn this today anything you want to accomplish in life you must sex separate it out decide on achieving it and make it a goal and you will see the power of god coming business people call it the power of the universe they do not know that all power belongs to god are you getting one of just do what i'm telling you to do be childlike about it don't argue and say i know i've read abc business book just be childish and do what I'm telling you to do. Write it down. Number two, write down three things that financial abundance will do to you and your family. Right now. Knowing the situation of your life and your family. I don't care whether you come from a rich family or not. Write three things under God. I could give you a little expo it will give you comfort it will fund your assignment and it will fund the advancement of God's kingdom three things that the presence of fine if you were seated here right now and you had access to cash relatively unlimited imagine all the things you have wanted to do for people you are not that greedy it's because there is no money you are not that self-centered you are not that materialistic that craving is because of lack and poverty that sense of materialism is because you've never had enough there's almost i have apples all the time in my fridge i like apples and there's i have apples all the time i remember when they used to buy apples sometimes they will buy apples and they'll cut one into four did that happen to you and you stand impatiently hoping for your turn to come i thought i really was in love with apples there are many foods in fact there was a name my father used to call me i thought i like food it wasn't that i like food every time you know you will miss a thing you want it as a matter of life and death but when god brings you to a position where you are in control of the supply that's when you will see your true state many of you don't know who you really are poverty has turned you into whatever you chase any man that comes around you are not that cheap it's because of poverty if you solve it you will see the stability in your life some of you as you are like, like this if you pass and somebody corners you 
and tells you there's one four one nineteen around you just smile and say there are people that when you see them you know they are dubious from their eyes they can participate in anything if you want to hide something just call them they know how to do it for you all that dirty life you see is because it's not we should not be blaming people and be calling them fraud 419 have you taught them the way people are so desperate if you don't teach them they will do anything and everything why go into prostitution when there is a pathway in the dignity of kingdom integrity why go into impatience and arm robbery and fraud and all of this when there is a pathway with decency the dignity of kingdom integrity the last prayer point i like you to pray and say lord in the name of your son jesus christ walk on my mind again walk on my mind walk on my mind walk on my mind pray that's the limit brothers that's the limit sisters that's the limit man of god that's the key to the next level businessman that's the key let's cry to god walk on my mind The components of a wealthy mindset. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just steal out one minute and pray. Can you passionately pray for your loved ones and, and, and say, Lord, I vow that if you show me this key, I will reveal it to my loved ones and the people. There are so many people that need to get out of this. Go ahead and pray. Lord, I will extend the hand of mercy. My family members are willing to learn. My wife is willing to learn. My husband is willing to learn. My children are willing to learn. My business contemporaries are willing to learn. They just don't know the path. Show me, oh God, and let me be an agent will advocate this mental transition hallelujah lift your hands let me pray for you father in the name of your son jesus christ i pray by the power of the holy spirit that through this series let there be a financial revolution in the name of jesus christ lord this thing is not so hard the problem has always been that we have not been mentored properly we have not been taught the keys and so we have blind desires without direction but Lord we cry in the name of your son that through this series you will open our eyes exactly to the keys to wealth in the name of Jesus Christ we desire that our levels change but father we have learned that it all starts with a decision and Lord we have decided the next thing oh god is to transit us mentally all those stumbling blocks that have kept us in poverty as we'll be learning and be learning the solution to them in the course of this series we pray for your help you will be our ebenezer you will help us in the name of jesus lord i pray that your spirit will remind us of these things in our sleep that all through this week we will give it seriousness in the name of jesus christ lord we know that our assignments are dependent on this we know that the quality of our lives are dependent on this we know that the advancement of the kingdom is dependent on this and so we refuse to trivialize it we receive grace from heaven in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i'm coming out of my comfort zone some other places in my life.